Hello and welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to exposing the Watchtower. Exposing the Watchtower false, false prophecies, the Watchtower false teachings, the Watchtower lies and the Watchtower cover-up. My name is Marse and I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses for over 30 years. I served as a regular pioneer for 10 of those years. I was first contacted way back in 1987 and I left the organisation in 2022. This video is an expose video. I'm going to be discussing is your baptism actually valid? So I'm not going to hang around, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to be using today two publications. I'm going to be using the New World Translation Silver Sword and I'm also going to be using the book that actually replaced the Live Forever book. I've exposed that book and now I'm going to expose the book that replaced it. This is The Knowledge That Leads to Everlasting Life. So I'm going to get right into this now and I'm going to be talking just basically quickly about something called gradualism. And gradualism is where a doctrine or teaching or something is changed so slowly that you don't actually realise that, that it's changing. And this is what's happened regarding baptism of Jehovah's Witnesses and the uh, questions that have been asked um, regarding baptism um, and that... Uh, that the dedication and baptism um, situation is they've used gradualism on you and they've used it on me and I'm going to expose this right now. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using information this morning or today that has come from the website jwfacts.com. So if you want to um, go and look at the documents, the watchtowers that I'm mentioning in this particular expose, you can go to that um, website and you can find all the information. Uh, there's much more information than, uh, than what I'm going to be actually exposing. As I, as I say, I'm going to be turning then to the books after I've spoken to you about some of the things that are on um, jwfacts.com. So if you want to go there and look at more stuff, then that, that's um, available to you. So right away, I'm going to just go to what notes I've taken. I'm going to just pop on the glasses. So um, here we go. Now, originally, the Watchtower Society followed the instructions set out for us at Matthew 28, 19 and 20. And I'm just going to read to you what it says there. I think many of us are aware of it. But just to be sure, I'm going to read from the Bible because that's the authority that we need to be looking to. And this is when Jesus... Uh, was uh, speaking to his disciples before he went back to heaven. And we're just going to um, look at this. It says, um, verse 18, Matthew 28, 18 says, Jesus approached and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of people of all the nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things I have commanded you. And look, I am with you all the days until the conclusion of the system of things. So notice how it tells us there that Jesus' command is to go and make disciples of people of all the nations, 
baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So that was the command Jesus gave. And this was the, the format that they followed for all baptisms uh, up till 1985. There were no baptism questions. The baptism was in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, in 1985, the Watchtower made a major change when they brought in baptism questions. At the poolside, candidates were asked have you repented of your sins and dedicated yourselves to Jehovah and accepted his way of salvation through Jesus Christ? And they were required to answer yes. The second question was, do you understand that your baptism identifies you as one of Jehovah's witnesses in association with God's spirit directed organisation and they were required to answer that uh, yes to that question and it continued that way until 2019 when the watchtower decided to change the terminology of the second baptism question And this was changed again with reference to the Holy Spirit. The question now became, do you understand that your baptism identifies you as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with Jehovah's organisation? So the word spirit directed was removed completely. And since 1985, candidates are actually devoting themselves not to Jehovah God and not to Jesus Christ, but to the organisation the Watchtower Organisation. Now, up to 1955, a person did not need to be baptised by a Watchtower representative. A church baptism was considered perfectly fine as long as it was full immersion. The Watchtower of July the 1st, 1955, paragraph, paragraph 20, explained that rebaptism was only necessary if 1. The baptism was not in symbol of a dedication and 2. It was not full, done by full immersion. The year after this, this all changed. In the Watchtower of July the 1st, page 406, this was in the 1956 Watchtower, they said, yes, one must be baptised again. And pre-baptism questions were introduced. Now, all these things are the changing of the doctrine of baptism. And this is done so gradually that none of us have really noticed they've changed it until somebody exposes it, like I'm doing now. Now, I'm going to actually go to... Uh, this the website jwfacts.com because I'm going to be reading 
from this 1956 watchtower. The, the website says it was not until 1956 that a watchtower baptism became mandatory. Quoting the Watchtower, 1956, the July the 1st, it says, Yes, one must be baptised again. Obviously, by any such religious systems, one was never in reality baptised. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, if you were actually baptised in one of Christendom's churches you were baptised in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit but as I've said before by their own words they will be condemned because they are not baptising any longer in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as I've just said to you. They changed it to, do you understand that your baptism identifies you as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with God's Spirit-directed organisation? So where is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then again in 2019 this changed yet again to do you understand that your baptism identifies you as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with Jehovah's organization? Again I say to you where is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit that Jesus commanded in this book. Now, I'm going to go to what was taught by me. Excuse me, I'll just get a drink. The drink messes my dress. <laughs> what I was t teaching to my Bible students because I came in under the Live Forever book. The Live Forever book was replaced by this book, The Knowledge That Leads to Everlasting Life in 1995. I'm just gonna show you the front cover because some people might say this is not a Watchtower book. You can see it says Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, 1995. International Bible Students Association, Brooklyn, New York, US, USA. There it is. It is their book. I've got no reason to lie. And as I said, I'm here to expose the lies, teachings and cover-up of the Watchtower. Now, I'm going to find the chapter on that discusses baptism. It's under this, um, chapter 18. Make it your aim to serve God forever. There's a section on baptism I'm going to be discussing with you. Um, I'm going to be reading from paragraph 11. Uh, no, paragraph 12, I'm sorry. So I'm going to be re reading from paragraph 12 of this book. And this is what was taught from 1995. It says, Jesus commanded his followers to baptise new disciples in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
Matthew 28, verse 19. What did Jesus mean? Baptism in the name of the Father indicates that the person being baptised wholeheartedly accepts Jehovah God as the Creator and the rightful Sovereign of the Universe. Being baptised in the name of the Son means that the individual acknowledges Jesus Christ and particularly his ransom sacrifice as the only means of salvation provided by God. And baptism in the name of the Holy Spirit signifies the baptismal candidate recognises Jehovah's Holy Spirit or active force as the as God's instrument for carrying out his purposes and for empowering his servants to do his righteous will. And then it sticks on the end. In association with his spirit directed organisation. I'm just going to show you the passage there that it does say that at the bottom. Just there. Can you see? So, according to this book, Jehovah's organisation is spirit directed. Yet in 2019, they changed it and took away, well, it was 20. Uh, 2019, the Holy Spirit was completely removed. So my question to you is, when did Jehovah God or his son authorise all this? Because I can't see anywhere in my Bible or in this Bible that tells you that tells us, sorry, that Jehovah God or his son have changed the baptism commandment. Because it tells you clearly at Matthew 28, I'm going to read it again. Just to make sure that you understand that this is a command from Jesus Christ himself. Matthew 28, verse 19. Go therefore and make disciples of people of all the nations, baptising them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is plain as day. The watchtower has deceived you into a false baptism. You are not baptised correctly. And your baptism is not valid. If it does not include the words baptised in the name of the, Holy, of, of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm going to show you a scripture from the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, and I'm going to look at verse 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, now, brothers, these things I have applied to myself and Apollos be your good, that you may, that through us you may learn the rule. Do not go beyond the things that are written. So, in changing the baptism 
instructions of Jesus Christ for something that is not written in this book. Has the watchtower gone beyond the things that are written or not? It's something to think about because you are not baptised correctly. Your baptism is invalid. And when I found this out, I had to get rebaptized because in their own words the watchtower 1956 July the 1st page 406 it tells you in their own words yes one must be baptized again obviously by any such religious systems one was never in reality baptised in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So if you haven't been baptised in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, according to the Watchtower, you must be baptised again. Now, I have A quotation Matthew twelve thirty seven. I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation. It says the word you say will either acquit you or condemn you. So there it is. They've been condemned by their own words in the nineteen fifty six watchtower. And they've also been condemned by what they taught to their Bible students in this book, which clearly says his servants to do his righteous will in association with a spirit-directed organisation. So I want you to do some research and put it in the comments under my video when you find out where Jehovah and his son told them to take out the Holy Spirit and also where they decided that God's organisation was not spirit directed because it says here in black and white that it is. Now while I'm addressing the book, this book, I'm going to just mention that, like I said, it was replacing the Live Forever book that I was taught by in 1995. Why did they need to replace the Live Forever book with this book? That was because the 1914 false prophecy was about to fail. And in this book, and I will expose it, what it, what it actually says now about that time, uh, that was about to fail and so they had to bring out a new book which removed it. Now I want to just quote to you a Bible scripture to finish off this expose. And I'm going to be reading to you Uh, from Ecclesiastes, I'm going to read it from the Silver Sword. And this is a scripture that I want you to think about. I'm going to be re reading Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 12. And it says there, as for anything besides these, my son, be warned. To the making of many books there is no end, and much devotion to them is wearisome to the flesh. Well, I say this, 
no one has made more books than the Watchtower Society itself. I have a bookshelf full of books upstairs. Bound volumes, Watchtowers. Two translations of the Bible. And while I, well, I'm on the subject, I've got a massive expose to expose to you that you will be shocked and I'm only going to use these two translations of their own Bibles. And I'll be filming that this afternoon. Because I think you need to know this. They're changing the Bible. They're changing the wording. This is why they've had to bring out a new translation because they were exposed that what they put in this one by somebody and they changed it in this one and I'm going to show you that. No one has made more people weary with the making of many books than the Watchtower. So, I want to thank you for watching this video and if you like what you've heard then please subscribe to my channel please like the video and please share it far and wide and until next time i'm going to say bye